What is going on guys, it is Zero, and today is a very special day. Today marks exactly 365 days since Inmate Search hit level 250. So, I hereby dub today as Inmate Day, so happy Inmate Day everyone. <laughs> so, today I just wanted to share with you guys exactly how me and Inmate Search uh, trained to 250 since we were kind of racing about a year ago, so yeah. Alright, for starters, uh, we were we were training in this map that I'm sitting in right now, uh, Hall of Honor, it's at the very end of Stronghold. Uh, unfortunately, Hall of Honor did receive a nerf, so uh, it's not the most viable training ground anymore. But yeah, I'll I'll sit in here for um, both nostalgic and demonstrational purposes later. Anyway, so something that was kind of controversial slash <laughs> well, there was a certain method uh, that we both used. Um, I called it the inmate method. I made a video on it about a year ago. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description, but I'll summarize it now, I guess. So basically, if you had a 41 level difference between the highest and the lowest character in your party, uh, there would be a... Well, the game would assume since one person couldn't leech, no one in your party could leech. So, um, the attacker would get all of the EXP. Um, the thing with that is, it would actually trigger the party play um, system. So, for each person in your party, you would get an additional 50% party EXP. But because no one can leech, then the, the attacker got all of the party EXP as well. So it was pretty, it was pretty overpowered, it was like permanent, like 2.5 times EXP or something crazy. So that was something that was kind of controversial at the time. Like, I think it still is, but it's died down a lot. Uh, anyway, so apart from that, uh, we had a uh, holy symbol, uh, which gave 50% EXP. Uh, we had a Kana in the map, which uh, would increase the spawn rate. So we'd have like maximum spawns and like really fast respawns. Um, we used EXP accumulation potions, which gave an additional 10%. Uh, I used all of my uh, MP yellow, yellow potions, hold on, gold potions, the gold potions, that gave 10% EXP. Uh, I'm pretty sure Inmate Search had more than me, so that would have been one of his uh, <laughs> edges on me, I guess. We both had a Pendant of the Spirit, which gave 30% extra EXP as long as you stayed online for two hours. A battle mage in the party that gave both dark aura for damage and yellow aura for attack speed. And the zero character card and the Mercedes link skill which gave 10% and 15% extra EXP uh, respectively. Uh, the last thing we both had was three pets with auto buff gems. Uh, so we didn't have to rebuff ever, so it was pretty nice. Okay, so now I'll talk about the things that Inmate Search had that I did not have. Uh, he had a, a phantom in the party with an auto buff gem for speed infusion. So he always had permanent speed infusion. For, for me, I had um, decent speed infusion gloves, so I had to rebuff them because you can't put speed infusion... Well, you can't put decent skills on auto buff gems. So I had to rebuff every few minutes or so. Uh, so I think that saved, like, considering we train for so many hours, if you have to stop to rebuff for one second every three minutes, it adds up. So I think that that would have helped him a little bit. Something that I actually didn't know until he uh, told people <laughs> was that if you have three bishops in the party, you actually get extra EXP as well because one of the second job bishop skills uh, actually gives extra EXP when you have more bishops in the party um, and it caps out at three bishops. So he had three bishops 
I didn't know that, so yeah, he, he got that extra bonus. Um, Alright, the two biggest things that he had that I didn't have were... Alright, are you ready? Green MPE potions, the ones that give attack speed. I remember I only had like 30 or 40 in my inventory and I used them all up. <laughs> Inmate search, he farmed over 600 green potions in preparation for his grinding run. So props to him, I did not think of that. Like I, I didn't even, <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, I didn't plan on even hitting 250 until he started going for it. So he had way more pr preparation than I did, so props to him. And the other thing that he had on me was his inner ability. Okay, so his inner ability was absolutely insane. He had legendary tier, and he had plus one mobs for all mobbing skills. So, reflection usually hits eight mobs. Instead of hitting eight mobs, his reflection was hitting nine mobs. So that was an insane... <laughs> EXP boost for him, because you can imagine hitting 9 mobs instead of 8, so that's one extra mob. Well, as you as you would imagine, it does add up, and it does add up a lot. <laughs> so he was training at a much faster rate than I was, so that explains why he's number 1 and I'm number 2, I guess. Alright, so something that Inmate Search actually taught me, um, when I, I went over to Scania to say hi to him, <laughs> and uh, something he taught me was that if you stand in a specific spot as a Luminous, um, you actually maximize your um, EXP in this map. So um, he told me to, um, instead of using like damage buffs if you can one-shot, you should use... Uh, third job dust guard because it gives 20% chance to ignore damage so you don't get knocked back when they miss you. So that was something he taught me. He also ta told me to um, use Mihail's skill link for 100% stance and you stand in this exact spot right here. And if you use reflection from this spot you should always hit um, the whole map. <laughs> so yeah this is basically what I was doing for like the next <laughs> many many hours um, so yeah hope this was insightful and informative um, good luck to anyone that is still going for level 250 um, oh something I forgot to mention uh, me and both myself and inmate search were both really lucky in that um, we were both on vacation <laughs> at the at the time of like when when we were racing because I was on summer break um, because I'm in Australia it was like I had after my exams finished I had like four months free because <laughs> uh, I had Christmas break and then I had summer break and it all like yeah so I had a long long time to spend training so it was pretty nice. Uh, as for inmate search, I don't know, but he was on vacation as well, so he could stay at home and grind all day. But yeah, thanks guys for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!